Digest Pump Model. In our previous video, we used the Import Pump Graph Image screen in Pipeflow Expert to define a pump using the Manufacturer Pump Graph. We can click Graph Options to display the efficiency data on the graph as a series of ISO efficiency lines that show the efficiency performance across a range of impeller sizes. Initially, the pump's predicted performance is based on the standard affinity laws. Often the predicted performance curves will agree closely with the pump manufacturer's published graph. However, in this case, for more accurate modelling of the pump performance, we will use the Adjust Pump Model tools to adjust the curvature and efficiency points for the predicted curves at the maximum and minimum impeller diameters. The Adjust Flow versus Head options, as we saw in the previous video, can be used to adjust the shutoff head and the rate of curvature for the minimum and maximum impeller diameter curves. The Adjust Predicted Efficiency options allow the predicted efficiency values to be modified. Further adjustment can be made to the data so that the ISO efficiency shape selection type will become a user-defined match. The best efficiency point on the base data performance curve is used to divide the performance graph into different areas. The slide adjustments will allow the curvature of the groups of the ISO efficiency lines to move as a block to the left or right. These adjustments should be used to match the predicted efficiency curves to the efficiency data lines provided on the graph. We could now go on to update the individual efficiency points on the maximum and minimum performance curves by selecting the Update Individual Efficiency Points option. Alternatively, you can select a new initial starting position from a number of predefined ISO efficiency shapes in the drop-down options. In this example, we will choose the O-Shape 3 ISO efficiency map. To adjust an individual efficiency point, click on the green point on the performance curve and use the up and down adjustments to set the efficiency value. The point will then be coloured red to indicate the adjustment has been made. These adjustments may be reset by clicking the clear button. We will now continue to make individual point adjustments as required. After altering each point, we achieve a good match for the efficiency data provided by the pump manufacturer. Click Save to save these efficiency adjustments to the pump. Let's now see how the match compares if we change the ISO efficiency line interval to 5%. Our user-defined match still matches the pump manufacturer's data at the 70 and 75 efficiency lines. Thanks again for watching and see you again in the next Pipeflow Expert software tutorial video. Thank you. Download your free trial of Pipeflow Expert today at www.pipeflow.com.